Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be covering how to use custom fonts in Flutter and we're going to be building out our screen here where we already added the image at the top but we're going to start adding text sections here. So a text section will have, as you see here where it says summary, it'll have a title and it'll have a body. So we're going to implement that widget and then we're finally going to cover text theming in Flutter. So text theming allows you to define all your style in one place for different types of elements in your app. And then that way your code is very clean because it knows what kind of style to pull from. So let's get started. Um, if you want to follow along, uh, I have the blog post here. And to get the font files that we're going to be using, the, those font assets, simply check out um, step slash step 04 branch of this uh, the code repository. Um, and the link is in the blog post. So let's get started. Um, we're going to uh, implement first. We're not going to quite follow step by step the blog post in the blog post's order. Um, we're just going to implement the actual uh, text section first, because then I can apply the font and it'll just uh, look like nicer. Um, it'll be more understandable. So um, the first thing we're going to do is implement more features of this text section because right now it's very contrived. It just shows colors. That's it. What we want to do is remove this color and be able to show a title and a body. So let's implement that now. So instead of uh, color, we're going to implement two private members. One is title and one is body. We're going to update the constructor and update this. So this uh, dot body. So whatever you pass it in, pass in here as a positional uh, parameters will be assigned to these uh, members. And then let's uh, basically uh, define how we want our widget to be structured. So this each widget can have its own layout. So in the location detail screen, we do use something called a column where we already covered that in the layout uh, to, uh, video. Uh, but each text section will have its own column because content is laid out from uh, top to bottom in a column format. So it's going to be summary and then this body of text. So instead of container here, let's implement a column. And it's going to be its own column. Uh, main axis alignment uh, is going to be uh, start, meaning the each child is going to be laid out from top to bottom sequentially without any padding. Cross axis alignment will be stretch. So I want it to stretch to the full uh, width of the container. What we're going to do is remove decoration. We don't need that. Um, and for child, I'm going to have some text here. Um, well, we have to say children because it's going to be a column and it's going to be a list of uh, items here. And we're just going to have title. And then the other one is body. Then we're going to end our column. Oh, we already did here. And end our children here hit save, and then we're going to, there's an error because we have to update our location detail screen to use this. So we already have text section imported here. We don't need to do that. And now we're just going to say, um, we'll hard code some values in here. So we're going to say summary uh, something one, and then something two, and then something three. So later we're going to make all this text dynamic. It's going to pull from a web server API uh, API running on a web server somewhere, and uh, it, we're not going to hard code anything like the image names and all that. So cool. It looks really boring because there's no formatting to it. So let's cover that next. Um, first thing we want to do is add padding to each of our uh, widgets. So um, to add padding to each text uh, bit of text here, um, we're going to wrap each text widget in a, in a container widget. Uh, the container widget lets us define that um, that the text doesn't. So to add padding to a container, uh, because we want to control the different um, padding schemes, so we want to control padding on the left and right and the top and bottom, and it's going to be different for each. Um, we're going to say const, which is a constant, uh, edge insets, and then from LTRB, so that's a special named constructor for edge insets and it lets you granularly define um, all that uh, padding. So because this each this uh, text section widget is going to share the same left and right padding, 
I'm going to, for simplicity's sake, define a uh, constant up here. And it's, well, it's not, it's going to be a static constant. Um, and I'll get to that why it has to be static in a second. But we're going to call it horizontal padding. And for just brevity, because I use this a lot, I'm going to say H pad, and people usually will figure out what that means. The reason why it's uh, static is because since I'm using a const here, um, it just has to be static. I can't, I can't, if you see, if I remove it here, I can't define a constant um, as a as a member of a class here. It has to be static. Um, that's just the rules of Dart. Um, so for the left and the right padding, it's going to have that value. Um, for the top and the bottom, I'm just going to use a custom value. So I'm going to use 32 and 4. You don't really need to specify the decimal point, but I just like to because it's a double and just more consistent that way. Um, so then we define the padding here. Um, I'm going to end, uh, let's see, text and end my container. And then I'm going to add, uh, let me add my child. And then I'm going to add the other container. And it's just going to have different padding because, uh, because of the fact that it's a um, just based on the design of the app, um, it's going to have different type of padding. So that padding will be, let me look at my notes, it's going to be 10 and just use the same value as horizontal padding here. Save it. So cool, now we have um, uh, the things like nicely padded and I'll add some more text here so you could see it like kind of looking a little more realistic. In the next video, we're gonna add in uh, real text here. Uh, so let me just paste that in. Cool, so that's just really, really ugly looking text, but it shows you that um, it's gonna flow nicely and the padding looks okay. Okay, so let's cover um, the style of the app. Um, before we do that though, the style that we're gonna implement uses a custom font, and so we can't implement that style without it failing until we add our font file. So let's go add a custom font. So to get the custom font file we're gonna need, and let me show you the screenshot, the, the, the font looks really nice. Um, the, it's this font, Montserrat. Um, I'm gonna, I've checked out the uh, step four branch of the code, and I'm just gonna copy the um, assets uh, that I already have. I'm gonna do that off screen here because it's just easier. Um, and what we're gonna do is in the assets directory, we're gonna have a child called fonts. So that's gonna be a sibling of the images directory. And then I'm gonna just paste it in here off screen and boom. Okay, so the fonts got uh, added. So each font file, I, I downloaded these from Google Fonts. Each font file has a special like family name. And what we're gonna do is in our pubspec YAML file, as you remember, the public YAML file lets you define packages um, that we're gonna cover that, what we haven't used the custom package yet. It lets you define where your image assets are. So here, assets slash images. But for this video, I've, I've implemented this already, um, which you're gonna have to type in yourself or copy from the example code. We can define a section called fonts and it has to be indented properly. So you just do one indentation because it lives under the Flutter section. That's very important. We're gonna call it Montserrat. So the family name you define here is the family name you'll refer to in your style um, when you define styles. So for each font file, I can specify the weight I wanna use. So for this file, it's gonna be 300, which is kind of like regular light slash regular weight. And then 600 is kind of a bold weight. So we're gonna have two different weights. So make sure you save that um, and the indentation is all proper. It's like uh, using two spaces for each section. Uh, that's how YAML, the format YAML is uh, defining indentation. So how do we use these fonts? Um, well, one thing we can do is in our text section, we can define in each text widget just to get something to work. We can just say style and then we can define text style, and then we can define all kinds of parameters for that style. But for just for cleaner, simpler code, we don't need to do that verbose way of doing things because that's gonna get very repetitive. What we wanna do is define one single style throughout the app. And it kind of works like CSS as well. 
And to define this style throughout the app, because we're using a material app widget, the material app widget gives us these shortcuts. Um, and one thing, let me look at my notes here. Um, one thing we can do here is define something called a theme. So this is how we use themes in Flutter. So a theme is something general and there's different types of theme. So we're gonna say theme and then theme data. And theme data lets us define various, uh, how various widgets are styled in the app. So the first thing we're gonna define is the app bar theme. So the app bar is a material design terminology for the navigation bar at the top. Um, so for iOS users, it's called the navigation bar. So we say app bar theme and you instantiate an app bar theme class. Exactly. And so that app or theme class is going to give you certain parameters. Um, one is the just basic text theme of the navigation bar at the top. So let's define a text theme. And the text theme we instantiate here. And for the title of that text theme, there's different, uh, there's different options you can use for text theme. You can go over it in your free time. But these are the different, um, these are basically all the main options for a general text theme. Uh, and I won't get into this too much, but for the sake of brevity in this video, I'm going to find the text theme that I want to use. And instead of hard coding it into my uh, file here, I'm going to define the, the text theme in a separate file so it's nicely organized. But for now, I'm just going to type in what I want to implement. And that's going to be app bar text style. This is going to be something I define as a uh, custom thing. Uh, in just a moment, I'm gonna now I'm gonna implement it. So to organize your style properly, what I personally typically do is I create a file called style.dart. And that style.dart is going to define all the style in my app. And what I'm gonna do is import material and I'm gonna to find some constants at the top because I'm just gonna paste it in here. And what this does, it lets me keep my style file very succinct and clear. So I'm defining um, specific different categories of text sizes, and then the name of the font I wanna use. This is the core family name I defined in my PubSpec YAML file. So I'm gonna paste this in here. This is gonna be my app bar style. It's gonna be, it. Again, it, it's a text style and it works, again, it works a lot like CSS. So it's very easy to follow. It has a font family. So it refers to my font name, Montserrat, a weight. So for font weight, um, in Flutter, you can define different font weights. So they all go from 100 to 900. And because I defined one that's called 300 in my PubSpec YAML file, see here, uh, I can use that weight. So that's the font weight. And then the font size, it's medium, it's 20. And then the colors, it's just gonna be uh, kind of white because the fact that I have a colored uh, nav bar up here. So I'm gonna save that. And then I'm gonna import it in my um, uh, app.dart, style.dart. I'm gonna save it. And cool, now our nav bar is styled with the custom font. You see it's kind of like lightweight here um, and We'll, we'll style it more later um, because that's not this is not quite the, the final uh, design we want to use, but we'll, we'll continue with this later. So let's finish up the style of our app. So now that we have the app bar theme, um, the indentation is a bit strange looking here because of the way it auto formats it, but um, let me do this so that you can read it better. Um, and the last style we're going to define here is our um, style for just basically the text section. So I'm going to go look at my notes here. So for the text theme, we're going to define, um, there's various text theme that for, throughout the app that we can define here. So text theme could be for various different components. So one is for just a loose something loosely named called title. You can, I'll show you how to use it in a second, um, but it's basically for any title you use. Um, so we're gonna call it a title text style. We're gonna implement this in a second because this style, same with the app bar text style, will come from our style file. And then we're gonna say body one. 
So body one is just another um, name we're going to refer to later in our code. And that's for any body text, body style. We're going to call it body one text style. So let's implement this now in our style file. So in our style.dart, I'm going to paste these in. First off, I'm going to paste in the title text style. And the title text style is going to be looking like the same thing, but it's just going to have a black color and it's going to be large. The next one is body one text style. Same thing, but it's just going to have a uh, different text size. So body text size of 16. So now that I pasted those in um, and I have these defined here, uh, the general style for all the text in the app now has changed. So it's going to use the basic font of the style, but there's certain elements about it that are not going to be used. Um, so for, let's say, the title text style, it's not going to use this um, uh, certain uh, elements of this. So it's not going to be large yet. So to, to kind of deliberately say, hey, for this title here, let's say summary one, I want to use the title text style. I have to deliberately go into my um, text section widget and we're going to have to update that. So how we're going to update that is for here, we're going to say uh, for the text widget style. And then we're going to say theme use the name constructor of, we're going to pass it our context. And again, our context is something we pass around in the app. And it just is a way for Flutter to kind of um, uh, uh, know certain uh, certain contextual information about the uh, uh, rendering uh, tree, the widget tree. And now we can refer to any style that we have defined here. So we can refer to text style, text theme rather. So because of the fact we defined a text theme, I'll go back to here, here. So in our theme data um, widget here, we defined a text theme. So now we can use it. So I can say theme of context, text theme. And now I can specify exactly what subset of my text theme. Um, so I'm, because I define a title text theme, again, going back to app.dart, see I defined a title text theme. I can use that now. So I say title here and I'm going to save it. And now it's using the actual text uh, theme I wanted. It's the exact text size that I wanted to use all along. I'm going to do the same thing for my body. So I'm going to paste this in here and I'm going to say body one. So um, basically it's not going to be, uh, I don't have to do this because it's already taking the style of that because this is just normal text. Um, if I define a text theme of body one, all the just general text of the app is going to be styled like this, but I'm still defining this style here and I'm using explicitly body one because it's just more explicit that way. It's clear and, um, uh, but you don't have to do it like that. Um, so yeah, that's that's how you style text in Flutter. Um, I think that wraps it up for this lesson. Um, yeah, and we're gonna just you know style this more later. And in the next episode, we're gonna actually use dynamic text. So we're not gonna hard code anything in. Um, but yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching.